Hey class, it's Miss Laurel here. We just got done reading the book called The Family Book. And in that book, we talked about parents that look different. We talked about families that looked very similar. We talked about families that were short. We talked about families that were tall. We talked about families that had two moms or a stepmother. We talked about families with two fathers and even a stepfather. All right, so Miss Laurel has an activity here for us today. We're gonna make a hypothesis. A hypothesis just means an educated guess. So Miss Laurel has some words here and some phrases, and we're gonna try to see if we can make an hypothesis, an educated guess, as to which one belongs to the pictures. So Miss Laurel's putting her words on the table, and we're gonna be getting started with our activity first soon. All right. So I got all my names out on the table. All right, I have a couple more I need to put out. So we have Happy Mother's Day, Happy Valentine's Day, Happy St. Patrick's Day, I'm Sorry, I Love You, Merry Christmas, Happy Halloween, Uncle, Cousin, Get Well, Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Birthday, Baby, Thank You, Happy Easter, Hanukkah, Grandpa, aunt, sister, mom, brother, and dad. All right. So we're going to use an educated guess. All right. So our first picture is a picture of a heart. And I normally use hearts for love. So I can make an educated guess that maybe this picture goes with the word I love you. All right. Our next picture is a picture of a turkey. And I know we have a couple of holidays down here. And I know that we normally eat turkey on Thanksgiving. So I'm going to put my turkey with a happy Thanksgiving. The next one we have is a picture of Santa and a reindeer. And this reminds me of Christmas. And I see a Merry Christmas sign here. So we're gonna put our Santa with Merry Christmas. All right. I can see that this is a pumpkin and I know we normally use pumpkins during Halloween. So we're gonna take a look around and see if we can find our Halloween picture. and put it with our Halloween one. All right, I think Miss Laura lost her Halloween picture. So, oh, nope, I found it. Happy Halloween. There we go. Happy Halloween. All right. Our next one is a picture of an Easter egg and an Easter bunny. So let's take a look around. We have aunt, sister, Grandpa, Happy Hanukkah, Baby, Thank You, and oh, Happy Easter. So we're going to put that with our Happy Easter sign. All right, our next picture here is a picture of what looks like to be some old people. 
Hmm. Well, I know that uncles are not girls, so they can't be uncles. Let's take a look here at, hmm. We know that brothers are boys and we see some girls here. So let's try to find our other words here. Oh, I see aunt and we know that aunts are not boys, so it can't be this picture. Hmm, I see grandpa, but I see some maybe some grandmas in there, so maybe it's not grandpa. Oh, I'm looking around and I see this one below our Easter sign and it says happy grandparents day. These kind of look like some grandparents, so I can make an educated guess. I think that that is going to be grandparents. All right, our next picture here is a picture of oh some more old people and oh they're little old ladies. Hmm. Let's take a look at our words. See if we can find it. There it is, grandma, I think, because these are old ladies, that these must be some grandmas. All right, I remember seeing the word baby, there it is, and I found a picture of some babies. I think that those two go together. All right, next we have a picture of a shamrock. I know we normally see shamrocks when it gets close to St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hmm. Another picture we have is a birthday cake. We normally eat birthday cake. We want to tell someone happy birthday. I also see a picture of a sad face. Hmm. What words do we have left over? We have aunt, sister, grandpa, Hanukkah, mom, brother, dad. We have thank you, get well, I love you, and I'm sorry. And Miss Laurel normally tells people, I'm sorry, when she makes them sad. I can use my educated guess, but I think that that one is sad. All right. So we have another picture here. And these look like to be all types of men. So let's look at some of our boy cards. We have brothers. Hmm, maybe they could be some brothers. Maybe they could be some fathers. Hmm, we're going to wait on that one. And let's try... This one. This one is a picture of a band-aid. Hmm, if Miss Laurel saw someone with a band-aid... I would think that they maybe need to get well. But I think that one goes with that one. All right, I see some more hearts here. And we already have a heart for I love you. So I think these hearts belong to Valentine's Day because we get lots of love during Valentine's Day. All right, our next picture here is a picture of some grandpas. Let's find our grandpas. Let's add them in. Grandpa. All right. Hmm. Next, we have a picture of a candle. I know that there's one of our celebrations here that revolves around a candle, and it's called Hanukkah. All right. Our next picture here is a picture of a present and a card. Hmm, a present 
and a card. Hmm. Sometimes when I want to tell people thank you, I give them a thank you note and maybe even a thank you gift. All right, let's see. We also have here some pictures of some ladies. Let's take a look and see which ones we have left. We have aunts and sisters and mom, brothers and dad. I think that maybe these girls um, maybe they could be moms because they don't really look like sisters. So maybe they could be some mummies. All right, let's try this one. Hmm, these are also girls. They're also ladies. So maybe these are our aunties. And now we have some little girls. Hmm, I can tell by looking over all my answers that one of the ones I still have left over is the word sisters. So maybe these are some sisters. All right. I have brother and dad open. So I have these pictures of these guys here. So we're going to put them by brothers because they're boys and we have some guys here and some ties so that they must be men so maybe these are dads because that's where ties to work all right we have another group of guys here and we have the word Uncle, so maybe these guys will be our uncles. All right, we also have the word left over, which is cousins. So maybe these kids are cousins. All right, thank you for joining with me today to make hypothesis about what words might go with what pictures. Thank you, I'll see you guys later.